So, this is a program called GIMP. And uh, what we are going to be doing is uh, doing some polar coordinate changes. That there, I suppose, is a very familiar photograph. I think it's from a Pink Floyd album. It's the shape of a, a tree with the shape of a man's head. There's the nose and the brow and the hair and the brains and everything. But when we look at the sky here on this side, it's almost the same as this sky here. That horizon is very good as well, going along there nice and straight. So this is a perfect picture for doing a polar coordinates manipulation. Now the first thing that you have to do is uh, change it, the scale of it, so it's absolutely square. So if we go here to the image and we scale the image, we break open this link and change that to 700 there and 700 there so it'll be scaled to be a complete square so that's it now let's move this out so we can have a look at it so it's fitting in properly that's it so that's it all the way around now. You can see this running ant edge all the way around the picture. Now for many photographs, uh, what you would have to do is also do a transformation of the image. So, so you go to transform and you would uh, rotate it. 180. Perhaps it's not necessary with this one. But that's it. Rotated. 180. And now you go to filters and you go down to distorts and look down here for polar coordinates. Take that and open that up. And you can see here, this is what the photo now becomes. It becomes, it's called a planet, a little island there, and then the tree on, sitting on the island. And there's still a line running through it. You can still see it, but you have to use a smudge tool to get rid of it. So, let's to move on quickly. Let's say, okay. So... That's what the tree is like now. And now I'd like to have it up the way. So let's go to the image and uh, transform it. And let's rotate 180 that way. So you can't see the face all that well. But what you can see here is this line which is running down. A very faint line which spoils the look of the finished photograph. So you'd have to go to the eyedropper here and let's say pick up a color, let's say round about there. You can see how it's changed uh, here and this one. Then you go to the smudge tool, take that one and it's this is the one that's selected at the moment. I could take a bigger one like that, and then go here and uh, just smudge this line away so you don't see it so much. There we go. Perhaps we need to change the colour. Yeah, it's a little bit darker in here. So I would take uh, the dropper again, pick that up. Now you can see it's changed to this colour and then smudge in this area here. So, 
but you could spend a lot more time with it. But uh, you can see what's happening. And then there's these lines here, which are not all that good. But uh, let's pick up this one. And then you might ask yourself, is it really worth it to, <laughs> to do all this? That's a little bit darker. And smudge that. Because there's still a discrete line there. That doesn't look... I would undo that. It doesn't look nice. Undo smudge. Perhaps I need to make that a little bit smaller. Like that. And now let's try it. That area there. And perhaps this green area, you can see it's running into the blue, which is not good. There's a sharp line there. So if I made the green go round here, that may be a solution. So let's go to the eye drop again, pick that up, and then take this in there. Now you can see it's this sort of dark green color there. And then back to the smudge tool. And it'll smudge this blue away. Like that. So it's not so noticeable, that line. And when you have done that, you have now got your small planet with this tree, a little bit of green grass, and then flowing around there. You can still, there his chin there, that's his mouth, that might be his elongated nose, and his head is going over there around here. So then you would go here and uh, export it, export it as polar head or something like that. Tree head. P O L A R and JPEG and export. I'll go to the desktop. No size image export. And that's it. So there you go. That uh, how to make uh, a polar coordinate transformation of a square picture. Done.